Marcus, uh, you talk a little bit about the 49ers in, in particular, uh, Kittle, obviously a really good tight end. And you might, if he plays, we don't know, but if he plays, you're probably going to see a lot of him on Sunday. Uh, yeah, um, probably one of their main guys over there. Um, they do a lot through him uh, in the run game and the pass game. Um, so, you know, we just got to be prepared for, for him to get a lot of looks, um, many different ways and stuff like that. Um, they got a bunch of good backs and everything. So, you know, we just got to be prepared when we, when we get to that day. So. Marcus, you just mentioned their backs. How challenging – a group is this, especially to catching the ball out of the backfield. It seemed like they, they did some damage last week against Arizona. Right. Uh, yeah, they do a good job of getting the ball to them, you know, in space, um, many different ways. So, like I said, uh, they got a group of them. Um, you know, each one is different. Um, so, you know, we just got to be ready um, when that time comes. Marcus, what about the way the 49ers use motion makes them hard to defend? Uh, a lot of movement. Uh, you know, we just – Got to keep our eyes right, have our eyes right, um, be ready um, when that time comes. Uh, you know, we got to communicate on a high level because they do a lot of shifts in motion and things like that. So, you know, we got to be prepared. How do you personally approach uh, a challenge like this, like a guy like Kittle? Because in the past, that might have been Jamal a little more. How do you approach it? Um, same way I approach every week, um, just, you know, hone into my assignment, uh, know my keys, know my uh, job that, uh, during the week. Uh, and just come out and play the game that I know, and you know everything else to take care of yourself. Do you think you opened some eyes last week with all the different ways you impacted the game? Um, I mean, I was out there playing ball. Uh, you know, coach did a great job of calling the game. You know, not just out there playing. Uh, and you know, I got into a little groove and everything like that. Uh, you know, things were coming my way. You know, but obviously we didn't get the win. So, you know, we got to find another way to, to come out this week and try to get a win. What's the key, Marcus, for you guys to get off to a quicker start this week? You know, it took you a while to settle in last week. Um, just come out hot, you know, come out ready to play. Obviously, you know, you try to, you know, feed off uh, emotions with the fans and stuff, but obviously no fans. So it's kind of tough to for some guys to get going. So, you know, we just got to find a way to get everybody going, get everybody on the same page and just come out fast. A lot of guys talked about having a, a sense of urgency after how last weekend went. Have you have you felt that in practice the last couple of days? Yeah, definitely. Uh, practice has been going a lot faster. Um, the pace has definitely picked up. Um, that's probably one of the main things that I've noticed. Everybody's locked in. Everybody's working hard. Communication was at another level this week. Um, so, you know, everybody's on the same page. Everybody's, you know, relaying the same message. And, you know, that's what it takes. And, you know, we just got to come out every day and prove that. Was it weird with the uh, like like calling signals on defense? H how did the empty stadium uh, in Buffalo uh, affect that? Uh, not much. I mean, a lot of it was you know hand signals, but you know you can hear a lot of things out there. Um, you know, it was kind of weird at first. You know, you know being out there in the stadium with no fans, but after a while, once the game gets going, and I don't think guys are really paying attention to the crowd or anything like that. They're just out there playing ball.